What's going on everybody? This is Clubatiki and in this video I'm gonna show you guys what I think are some of the best features of Notepad++. First of all, I've divided this video in five different categories just so that you guys can have an overview of what I'm gonna be talking about for a while. Number one is I'm gonna talk about aesthetics, what makes code look better in Notepad++. Number two, shortcuts. Number three, I'm gonna talk about file management. And this is a section that will take most time of this video. Number four, I'm briefly gonna mention the NPP FTP plugin. And lastly, I'm gonna show you guys how to run a PHP script directly from Notepad++ with just one hotkey. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, go ahead and download Notepad++. I mean, if you don't have it installed and downloaded, you can't really follow this video. You gotta have Notepad++ on your system. So just go ahead and go to their website and download it. I trust you guys know how to do this. I already have my Notepad++ installed. So I'm just gonna open it up here and this is what you get when you first open up Notepad++. It's about a got a bunch of icons here and at the top it's got the menu. Now let me open up a file which I've prepared for this video called file.php and immediately upon opening a PHP file you can notice you can notice the difference here I mean it's just so much more pleasant to look at because I saved this file as PHP and uh, I have the PHP tags here notepad plus plus immediately recognize this as PHP code and highlighted the code using its embedded or built-in code highlighter. So you can see that the functions are in bold and they're very easy, easily identifiable. And uh, you can tell where the strings are, where the variable names are, etc. I mean, it just looks a lot more easier. Now, if I copied and pasted this in regular notepad, it would just look like this, just plain text. So it's just more pleasant to look at plus 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 it comes with more themes if you go to settings style configurator and under select theme you can choose a bunch of different themes whichever one you like and uh, let me just cycle through all of them here real fast all right you get the idea just pick the one you want the one that looks better uh, looks best for you. I personally created my own and this is what my Klebatiki theme looks like. And if you guys want this, I'm including a link where you can download Klebatiki.xml, which is the theme file. And uh, if you choose to use it, you're gonna have to open up your Notepad++ roaming directory. And under app data, usually that's the file path. It'll be in the C users, your username, app data, roaming, and then you'll see a bunch of application folders under roaming, and you just navigate and open Notepad, open up the themes directory, and paste clevertechie.xml in this directory. And just keep this uh, folder open for now. We're gonna do some more configuration later on. Just go ahead and minimize this window. And then after you've pasted the XML file, go ahead and close Notepad++ and reopen it. And now go to Settings Style Configurator and Clever Techie will be right there under the Select Theme menu. You also want to change font name under font styles to consolas and the font size has to be 12 in order for it to look like this 
All right, so what else do we have here? If you click on this uh, parentheses, it highlights the closing parentheses. Same goes for the curly braces. And that just makes it a lot easier to manage these curly braces and parentheses because sometimes you can get confused with these and you can't find the other one where the other one uh, maybe you forgot to close one of them and you just uh, this highlighting just makes it a lot easier to f identify them and uh, the second thing is if you double click on a variable name it will highlight all the variables that are in that file so if I click on username, it highlights all the username variables, password does the same thing. Also, I like this uh, highlight of the line, you know which line you're working on and how it highlights that specific line. And uh, that is pretty much all I have for the aesthetics. I mean, this code looks much better to me than this and the highlighting functionality really alone this alone makes it worth uh, using notepad plus plus as opposed to your regular uh, notepad if you're a coder and let me just show you real quick how HTML is going to look like it's pretty simple but if you can create your own if you go to settings style configurator you can just uh, create your own custom color schemes for any language that you program in and you can modify clever techie theme to whatever colors you'd like so that's it for aesthetics now let me show you some shortcuts some useful shortcuts because there's a ton of shortcuts in notepad plus plus but let me show you some useful ones okay if i'm at the start of the line here i can press end and that will jump me to the end of the line and if i press home it will put me back to the start of the line and uh, if I'm at the start of the line and I press control shift delete that will delete the whole line and uh, I'm just gonna undo it and I'm gonna go back to the start of the line and if you press control D that will duplicate the line as many times as you press so that is pretty handy and useful you can also let's see here you can oh yeah one of the most useful shortcuts that i use is control f2 and that when you press when you're on a line and you press control f2 it'll create a bookmark by indicating this blue icon on the side on the left side of the screen and you can later come back to that bookmark by just pressing F2. See how it just came back here? So if I had like a bunch of code, and usually I do, let me just show you how useful it can be. And suppose I'm working on something here and I wanted to come back to that uh, bookmark, I would just press F2 and it would jump right back to it. And you can create as many of those bookmarks as you'd like. As long as you're on a line, and you press control F2 it'll create another bookmark for you and you create you can create another one here and then you just press F2 and you press F2 again and it's gonna cycle through all those bookmarks and to remove a bookmark you just stay on the line where you have the bookmark and press control F, uh, F2 again and that will remove it so I'm gonna go back and remove all of these and uh, let me just remove all this redundant code okay I think it ends now ends around here yep okay I'm just gonna save this file and you can also cycle through the brackets if I'm if I selected this bracket here you can see the pointer blinking right there and if I press control B it'll put me where the closing bracket is so the cursor is right there so it's pretty useful to jump between the curly braces and know exactly where you have them it just makes coding a lot faster and easier 
now that's it for the shortcuts on my part um now i'm gonna show you guys the most useful feature of notepad plus plus which is file management and file notepad plus plus is a very powerful application when it comes to file management you can create you can open f multiple files and have them in multiple tabs you can cycle through those tabs you can close many tabs at once you can also save the session of all of your open files so that you can re quickly reopen them later you can bookmark your sessions so that you can conveniently access them from your bookmarks and you can also have a plugin where you can uh, navigate through all your files and uh, and folders and create new ones and edit them just like you would on in Windows Explorer and uh, it just has a lot of those features and I'm gonna go over them right now first of all before we do let's go ahead and download a plugin called Explorer by going to plugins and under plugin manager show plugin manager it's gonna show a bunch of plugins I'm gonna highlight one of these and press E and that will jump to the plugins that start with letter E and I'm gonna select Explorer check the checkbox install would you like to be would you like to restart notepad yes it will restart notepad and now you have the Explorer plugin go to plugins and you have Explorer showing up here now just select the Explorer and on the left side hand side of uh, your window you're gonna have Explorer show up now this window on uh, the first window is the directory window and the second one below it is where all the files are so if I go to my say localhost it will show all the folders and files under that directory so it just kinda works like if you were navigating through your computer on Windows you can just easily do this here and it's sort of the same thing where if you're working on a new project you can always create a new folder by right clicking on the folder that you want to create it in and go into new folder for example I'm gonna name it project 1 and now I have project 1 folder here and I can start creating some uh, some PHP files in this folder so it's really easy uh, to manage your files that way and navigate through them you can also edit them you can just right click and it will give you all the the options that you can do to modify and create new files uh, etc so that's the first uh, cool feature now let me show you something else here if I go to my if you have a lot of files that you want to work on for example I have a bunch of uh, scraping scripts here that they just uh, happen to uh, do pretty much the same thing but a little bit differently I'm gonna go ahead and select all of them by holding down shift key and I'm gonna open all of these files open in multiple tabs that's another cool feature of notepad plus plus is that when you open multiple files it'll put them in these tabs just like it would in a browser and you can cycle through all of them you can also press control tab and it'll open up this handy little window and you'll know exactly where all those files are located and what the names are and they'll be right in front of you if you don't feel like scrolling them through those files using these arrows here you can also go to window and check out all these files here and cycle through them and lastly you can go to windows and even check out the file type you know you can sort by file type if you have different file extensions you can look and see which directory those files are and the name of the files and you can of course activate one of these and it'll go directly to that uh, file so those are the uh, the multi-tab that's the multi-tab feature 
Now another really useful one is called sessions. So if I'm working on a bunch of multiple files here and uh, I want to save that session so that <clears throat> next time I don't have to go in and you know go to my local host scripts selecting all these files opening them if I wanted to save that in a session I would go to file session name the session something like scrape scripts and then I would create a link which would also be named scrape scripts and I like to save uh, a session file in the same directory where my files are located but of course it's not necessary to do that so you can save your session anywhere on your computer um, for example under my document sessions would be a pretty good organized idea anyway I'm gonna save that session I'm gonna click OK and now I'm going to close uh, all these files by right clicking on one of those tabs and this is another cool feature you can close all but this and then we'll close all of them but the current open file and then I'm gonna close that as well so it's a very quick way of closing those files also and then I'm gonna open the session by going back to to the scripts folder which is already open and then I'm gonna sort and I'm gonna open up scrape script session by double clicking on it no wait that didn't work <laughs> never mind I can't this opens up what's actually inside the file and I wanna I, I wanna use file open scrape scripts this is how you wanna open the sessions um, Oh, no, no, no. I messed up here. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Go to File, Load Session. <laughs> That's the proper way to do it. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to double click on the scripts. And then that worked. <laughs> it opened up a bunch of uh, the, those scrape, uh, script files that I had. So... <clears throat> So that, that, that's how the way that sessions work. And uh, you can have as many of them as you want, obviously. And if you wanted to neatly organize them, there is another feature for that as well. And it's called Favorites. If you click on this heart icon here, it's going to open up your Favorites full, uh, window. And uh, you can click on any of these folders, files, web links, and sessions. You can right click on it and you can add existing session, you can save current session, or you can create a new group to organize your session by. So I'm just going to go add current session and name it new session, new session, oops, link, scrape, scripts. okay, okay, and then this is the same session as a let me just delete some of these here. Uh, delete, delete, because I already created them earlier. And I'm gonna go to properties and rename that one to scrape scripts. So now I have my scrape scripts session in my favorites, and I can easily access it. And I can even uh, expand the session and look what kind of files are in it. And let me try something here actually. Let me close all these tabs and double click on this. And voila, that actually works. If you double click on a session here from your saved sessions, that will open up all your files. Uh, as opposed to trying to open <laughs> a session here uh, like I tried before, that will actually give you the code. But Okay, so hopefully uh, you guys grasp the idea of uh, how powerful these features are, including multi-tab sessions, favorites, and uh, the using Explorer. So that's pretty much it for file management. Now let me show you uh, another feature that is very useful, which pertains to files, and that is a uh, 
under search you'll find find in files and you can use this uh, awesome feature to look through the whole directory for a particular text and you can either find it or you can replace it so I'm gonna search for some text here in my uh, localhost scripts folder for example and I'm gonna hit find all and it's gonna scan the whole scripts folder and apparently there's a bunch of photos in it, so I'm gonna cancel okay I'm gonna close that uh, let's do something else find in files I'm gonna just look through this website here. Find all. And zero found. But <laughs> okay. You get the idea. You can search through the files in a directory and you'll uh, find whatever text you're looking for. As a matter of fact, let me try uh, looking through. Uh, the files where I have them uh, let's just scan this folder that I created here can if I can find it <clears throat> there it is just gonna search for PHP so I know it's found for sure okay here we go this is what I was looking for It'll uh, show you the window and uh, it will tell you which line it has been found in and which exact uh, file it's in right there. This is the directory of the file, this is the contents of the file. You can go ahead and minimize that file. Yeah, you can minimize its contents. You can check out the next file. You can minimize that. And then it will show you all the files where the text uh, instance has been found and uh, it's a really handy and useful feature and in the same way of course you can replace any kind of text within a directory and uh, they'll save you a ton of time you can also use regular expressions which I'm not gonna go into here but that will let you create more advanced find commands and uh, create a kind of uh, find what you're really looking for but I'm gonna go into that in an another video so that's it for file management and uh, next what I'm gonna talk about is NPP FTP which is a built-in plugin I'm gonna close all these files here and I'm gonna go to plugins NPP export no wait what am I doing NPP export no, I'm gonna go to plugins, plugin manager, and then I guess I have to install it. NPP FTP is the plugin that you want, and I, I think you guys should already have it installed. Maybe I uninstalled it by accident. I'm just gonna install it here, and now I'm gonna go to plugins, NPP FTP, show NPP FTP window, and uh, I already have my host set up here, but the way that you would create it is just by pressing this gear icon and going to profile settings and then you would add new to add the host and then it will ask you for the name and just I, I entered Bluehost because that's the name of my host and I entered the host name which is the IP address port username and password and then we can go ahead and connect to the host and now it's connected to the uh, the FTP server I can go ahead and open up my public HTML documents and check out one of my domains which is tree outline now if I open that domain in a browser just to show you guys how this NPP FTP works real fast outline.com is a domain that I'm hosting at Bluehost as you can see I have a fresh copy of WordPress here and all these WordPress files are showing up and I'm gonna open up a WordPress config configuration file 
and here you can see the database name username and password so I'm gonna change password to something else and I'm gonna I, I just hit control s to save the file and that's all you have to do everything is automatic automatically updated on a server so I'm gonna go back to the browser and refresh now it's not able to establish a database connection because I changed the password so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change it back and I'm gonna go to file save just so you guys see it go back to the browser refresh and now it's working so that's just to show you how easily it is how easy it is to modify these files and uh, how quick it is you know I mean it's pretty handy having this MPP FTP connection where you wanna modify files the only limitation here is that it's it's a real pain you can't really upload uh, multiple files so for that you would probably use something like um, FileZilla but if you want to quickly access your server check out what files are there edit some of them this is the best way to do it from within notepad plus plus all right so that's pretty much it for uh, the most features the last one that I want to show you guys if I uh, you're you're a PHP coder and you'll find this one the most like the most useful uh, of all and that is the ability to run a PHP script from within notepad plus plus now uh, <clears throat> by default you can't really do that if I open a PHP file here um, for example this file that I had earlier and I go to run run PHP in Firefox well <laughs> that works because I already have it uh, set up but if you guys uh, I already added this functionality here called run PHP in Firefox and I can even press F6 and the PHP script uh, is 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 loaded from localhost, so I know PHP is being executed because of this uh, command. But you guys don't have that, so if you go to run launch in Firefox, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a bunch of PHP gibberish code, and uh, it'll try to access your file directly from the hard drive. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a script inside your web files directory. Mine is under C localhost, and this is your Apache um, server uh, or document root directory where where you have all your PHP scripts. Go ahead and create a file called redirect.php in your root directory of that folder and let me show you what's inside of this file you're gonna have to type this code here and I'm also gonna provide a link in the description of this video and you guys can go ahead and <clears throat> you know just access that link and just copy and paste the code here in the redirect.php if you don't feel like typing just make sure you type ex exactly as it is I'm not gonna go and explain what all this means just trust me on this one <laughs> all right I'm gonna close this file and assume you guys are done typing all of this and I'm gonna close this file as well and the last step oh well another step that we need to do is remember that folder that I told you to keep open if you don't have it open go to C users your username app data roaming notepad plus plus now here's what we're gonna do we're gonna modify the shortcuts that XML file but if we modify it directly it's not gonna work if you open it here and you modify something like let me just delete everything here and save I'm gonna close and I'm gonna open it hold on I'm gonna reopen it I'm gonna open it again as you can see all the settings are intact nothing changed so in a similar way if we add another line here it's not gonna work either 
So here's how to do it. Rename your shortcuts.xml to something else like edit. Then open it with Notepad++. And then you're going to want to add this line right here that I already have. This whole line. I'm also going to include a link where you can download uh, this line so you can copy the whole thing. But let me just scroll through it slowly if you guys want to type it. Uh, so it's line 10 here. And command name run PHP in Firefox is a text that's going to show up right here. And then you want to set up your own hotkeys. I just use F6, which is key 117, and I put control. Uh, no for control, no for alt, and no for shift. I just want to press F6, and I want to execute the PHP script from Firefox. And this is how... Uh, okay. So just go ahead and type it exactly as you see it here. Make sure you enter localhost, a redirect.php, and all of this other text is exactly as it's showing up here. Then you want to, after you're done, you of course want to save the file. And you want to close it. And you want to close Notepad++. Now, as you can see, <laughs> another shortcuts.xml showed up here. So you want to delete that. We no longer want the old shortcut that, shortcuts.xml. We're going to delete it and we're going to rename this one back to shortcuts.xml. Now, if we edit this, you're going to have that new line that you've added. And you should... And I'm going to reopen Notepad++ again. I'm going to close this file. I'm going to open um, uh, whatever... Just open whatever PHP script that you want to run. Mine is... Uh, in the notepad plus plus file the PHP. Now you should have run PHP in Firefox under run. And I'm just gonna click on that. And if you did everything right, you'll have your code executed and everything and, and now you can execute any kind of PHP code from within uh, notepad plus plus by just using a single hotkey. I'm just gonna press F6 here and and bam it loaded the PHP script. So that was just a quick overview actually of uh, some of the best uh, features of Notepad++ and I hope uh, you guys um, you guys find it very helpful and uh, this was Clever Techie. I'll see you guys in the next video.